we're going to Panama, friends. Come along with. Hey, I'm a flight attendant and I fly pretty much domestically. I have a little bit of international, but very limited. And my husband and I are taking a trip to Panama. We're going to go through Costa Rica and head over to Panama to Boca del Toro. And I hope you come along with. If you're interested, stay tuned. Snacks are packed. Let's go. Our trip started very early at LAX and we went through Houston with a very long layover and we finally ended up in San Juan, Costa Rica in the evening. We stayed the night at a hotel near the airport. There's a small casino and a bar nearby as well as a Denny's and Denny's is where we met our shuttle that would get us to Panama. We had another very early day and the shuttle took about 11 hours, including stops. We had one stop for bathroom breaks and breakfast, but we had already eaten early at Denny's. Another stop for a nice break was at a boutique resort in Puerto Viejo called Banana Azul. It's so beautiful and quaint. I wanna pack up all my friends and go there again with them. Lunch was included in our shuttle price, but we were still full from breakfast. So we took ours to go. We spent about two hours there just walking around, checking out the scenery. I looked for sloths, but I never saw one. And we hung out on the beach and just essentially enjoyed our time in Costa Rica since that was going to be pretty much it. We boarded another shuttle that took us to the Costa Rica-Panama border where we ended up having to wait about an hour because the power went out. But we were finally able to get our passports checked, leave Costa Rica, cross the bridge and into Panama and get our passports checked again. Then we were on our way to another shuttle to Almirante to catch a boat. In Almirante, we boarded what could best be described as a bus boat with many folks going to and from work or home in Boca del Toro, which was going to be our destination before we headed to my sister's house. We arrived in Bocas where my sister met us and we walked to where their boat was docking to take us to our home for the next five days. My sister and her husband have been living in Bocas for just over a year now. Uh, this is the dock where their boat is and that is the casita on their property. The blue building was meant to be a restaurant but did not ever get opened by the previous owners and this is taken from the front door of the house where we stayed and this is what the inside looks like. It's very open, all mesh and screens. Not far from their home is a beautiful place called Dolphin Bay and we saw so many dolphins they were just so cute jumping and swimming along with the boat waves. I never get tired of watching them. We had lunch and hung out at a restaurant and bar called Blue Coconut, and we basically had the place to ourselves. We enjoyed nachos, which were surprisingly on regular potato chips, and lobster tacos. We enjoyed the water hammocks and swings, and the zip line wasn't available that day. We were glad to have the place to ourselves.
Our next adventure took us to Red Frog Beach and Nacho Mama's taco stand where they do not have nachos. We swam, enjoyed many delicious cocktails, and we did manage to see a few red frogs along the way. Oh look, more dolphins! The next day we went into Bocas Town where we docked and then we took a taxi to a bar restaurant called Scully's. We stopped at the obligatory Bocas del Toro sign and took pictures and we ended up at this place where they had a pool, pool tables and ping pong as well as beach access. They also do ATV tours if that's your thing. And we had a lot of fun photo ops there. Our next day's adventure took us to an island called Zapatia Number no. 2 for snorkeling. The water was so beautiful, warm, and clear. We saw some fishes, and I saw a ray. We spent some time on the beach just relaxing and hunting for treasures. I tried to pretend I was on Survivor, building a shelter and foraging for food but I soon found out that I was probably going to be voted out first, so that's not good. On our way back, we stopped at Poppy's Pizza, which was our favorite food spot from the trip. Everything was so fresh and yummy there, and I highly recommend it. We wrote our name on the wall, and I added my YouTube channel, so maybe I'll get some new visitors to the channel that are visiting Panama. We spent some time every day floating, paddle boarding, kayaking. We played some games, including our tortilla challenge tournament. That was a lot of laughs. wanted to say that I've had literally the best vacation maybe ever I've had. <laughs> if you ever get a chance to take an adventure and go to Panama or anywhere down here, Costa Rica, flipping amazing. Um, just had the best time. So just wanted to share that moment. On the way back, I'm not ashamed to say we stopped at Taco Bell. Tastes a little different than home, but pretty close. We were super sad to leave, but it's always nice to get back to sleeping in your own bed and the trip back was smooth but long. I'm so grateful that we got to take this adventure and to Peter and Catherine, our gracious and generous hosts, we felt so cared for and comfortable there. If you get a chance to go on an adventure like this, take it. You will not be disappointed. And thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this at all, would you give it a thumbs up and share it with someone else? Have a great day.